Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for checking out this video. Um, this is the old Gary Fisher again. I don't know how many videos I can get out of one bike, but um, it's gone through another change. I wanted to show it to you. This has been the most versatile bike I guess I've ever had. It's probably a 2010 model, um, 26 inch mountain bike. Um, it's a medium frame Gary Fisher Wahoo. Um, I bought it new. If you uh, check out my channel, you'll see some other versions that I've had of this bike. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Um, the last version it had drop bars and a single speed and I was riding it that way uh, sort of as a gravel bike I, 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 I guess. I got myself a new proper gravel bike and I uh, kind of set this one up for my wife um, and she's riding it now and really enjoys it. She has a road bike and she has a mountain bike um, but this is kind of a, a rail trail neighborhood um whatever do it all kind of bike now for her uh being a 26 inch and she being a, a little bit shorter um i guess she's five four five five um fits her good um i put a shorter stem on it so that it fits her her better there but what i did i was running at single speed for a few years um, but i went through my son's uh, mountain bike and upgraded it from a three by eight to a one by ten um, and I've got a video of that but I, I, I took the cassette and some of the parts from his one by eight setup and I put uh, some of it anyway back on this bike um, some of that is the cassette I put the eight speed cassette and his derailleur on this bike um, it's just eight speed so it's a one by eight uh, but again it, it's 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 pretty flat where we live and this is mostly a neighborhood rail trails kind of bike now um, and it works great for my wife um, the front gear that's on it now I think this is something like a um, something like a, a 43 tooth chain ring this is actually a middle chain ring from a 3 by setup um, I had a nice race face um, uh, chain ring on it I think it was about a 36 or it might have been a, a 38 tooth um, race face uh, one by chain ring and it was nice but my wife was spinning out um, a little bit too quick she wanted a little more speed a little bit of a higher gear uh, and this is really all I had laid around the shop so I used it um, and these chain rings from a 3 by uh, they do pretty good as a one by setup um, typically a one by chain ring is going to be a narrow wide that race face I had on here was a narrow wide um, and it worked great but um, um, I put this one on and uh, no problems um, I had another chain ring that I tried um, that was a 44 or 45 tooth um, it, it was a BMX chain ring but it was single speed you know it wasn't going to matter that much but it it wouldn't hold the chain on at all um, and I don't have any kind of guide on the front um, but the other regular uh, single speed chain ring didn't work but this chain ring like I said it's just a, a, a middle chain ring out of a 3 by setup put that on there and it's holding good um, up and down the cassette um, with all kind of different pressure and bumps and all and the front's hanging on fine no problems and, and again, it's road, rail, trail neighborhoods. It, it, it's not going to get a lot of off-road abuse. Um, but it's holding fine, no problem. Um, so we put that on there. Um, up here, I'll put the flat bars back on it. Um, she just prefers a flat bar, which is fine with me. I had some wide gravel bars on it, and those were fun. But um, this flat bar, she's more confident with them. i put these ergo grips. Again, just some more comfort. Um, put these levers and shifters from the um, that came off my son's bike when I upgraded his and something that I did so his was a 3 by 8 so you'll see here there's your 8 um, and, but this shifter and brake lever is made together so that's fine uh, on the back where I've got, I kept the derailleur in the 8 speed but over here I didn't want the shifter on here with no front gears um, so I just hacked it off I took my grinder and, uh, uh, and, and just kind of grind ground it down cut it off um, 
it looks a little rough in this picture. I guess I'm zoomed in too close. Um, in person, it doesn't look that bad. It's not new. If you look at it, you can see something's up with it. But um, it really turned out good. I just cut it off. Cut it off, got rid of it. And the um, mechanical brake lever works fine. So it's just the brake lever there. Then over here, you got the brake lever with a shifter, uh, which works good, of course. Um, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, uh, I put this rigid fork on it um, probably five years ago. Um, maybe not that long ago, maybe four years ago, three years ago. Um, the shock that was on it was just worn out and it was a cheap low end. So I just took it off and put that uh, rigid fork on there. It's a cheap rigid fork, but um, it's held up fine. These 26 inch wheels, um, while the 26s are going out of style, again, if you have a shorter person, a, a child or or a um, or your wife or whatever, um, of the size, this this size might be fine. Um, even as in a bigger person, you know, you get, you have a larger frame that fits you. It's nothing wrong with a 26 inch wheel. Uh, you can build it to do some pretty cool stuff. You'll see here, I've got these Maxxis DTH tires on here. So it's, it's smoother rolling, a little less resistance for, again, the neighborhood riding rail trails, riding down the road, whatever. Um, so this bike has been very versatile. It's just a, a 10, 12 year old, 26 inch mountain bike so look for those bikes look for those 2000 to 2010 model mountain bikes find one that's your size and um, pick it up work on it do you can do some pretty cool stuff with it um, uh, the wider bars just really updated a new headset with a, a, a wider and a bigger bar I guess these are the, the 31.8s um, that just gives it a, a more updated look that along with a one by setup you can look at the video of my son's bike we put a really nice ram one by setup on his but even here just this piece together cheap uh, uh one by that we did um works great so if your bike comes with a three by eight um just keep the eight speed in the back and fix the front make it a one by um yeah it works out fine uh, you might have to play with your chain ring and get the right chain ring so that it holds on well enough but um, those 2000 to 2010 model uh, mountain bikes make great platforms to do all kind of stuff with. So just wanted to show this. I want to put it on a video uh, so I could show some um, some other friends around town what they could do with their bikes. Um, be on the lookout for these bikes. They're um, um, usually pretty affordable to buy now, and um, a few small upgrades. A lot of times the biggest upgrade might be the shock in the front. Those cheaper ones from 15 years ago are not gonna be very good. Um, oftentimes, anyway, you're better off like I did, just taking it off, putting a rigid fork up there. Uh, you could spend some more money and put a more modern fork on it, but um, this one, this one's been great with the rigid on it. There are some nicer rigid forks out there that you could get, but this one works good. So anyway, that's it, the latest version of the Gary Fisher, what do you think, Jack? Is this a good bike? Honey, does this bike ride good? Yes, it does. My wife likes it. So that was the point of this build on it. So hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks. Bye.